It's time for the talking to stop and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. It's time now for our tale of the tape. And introducing first, Jorge Linares. He stands 173 centimeters tall with a 175 centimeter reach. And facing him in this bout, it's the Jackal himself, Carl Frampton. 165 centimeters tall with a reach of 157 centimeters. Yeah, if you've got a brawl that's in front of you that's going to put you under pressure, get to your ribs and get close. You've got to be fast on your feet. If you've got the height and the reach, which I always go for, I, I depend on that. But if someone is going to push you back, keep pushing you down, you're going to be under pressure. Don't get stuck in the corner because if you do, you're out of there. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Barinas, Venezuela, a renowned three division champion of the world. Here is El Nino de Oro, Jorge Linares. Fighting out of the blue corner from Belfast, Northern Ireland, introducing a super bantamweight and featherweight champion of the world, the Jackal, Carl Frampton. Well, it is go time, ladies and gentlemen, and you can see there is not a seat to be had for this very close matchup. The wait is over. The speaking stop. The fight begins now. Let's get the answers. Good luck. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. They have no respect for each other's punching power. That counter punch will score. They are giving us a high tempo show. So much pre hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. You have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And look in that corner right there, that is that fighter right there. They have elevated, lifted, it's like they're not touching the ground. This is what they were born for. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Oh boy, Carl Frampton now in some serious trouble. Trying to cover up, play some defense, but he's buzzed. I don't know if he's going to survive. Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That was almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Nice round, good round, I like that, I'm happy. Good man. On to the second round. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Perfect counter shot. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. If 
you're a counter puncher, then basically you do the counter attack. You let them get their punch off first, and then you answer in kind. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That doesn't score. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Ooh, and Carl Frampton just got rocked. It's now or never. The clock is ticking. This is his big chance. A true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they get into trouble, and that's what he's done right there. Perfect counter lands. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Wow, it's like two different leagues. And there's the bell for round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. When you're fighting a counter puncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're going to punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch, and then you counter them. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. That left score. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a wounded. Oh boy, Carl Frampton now in some serious trouble. How is he still on his feet? I thought that was the end, but here we go again. Back into the fire. One punch could change everything in this battle. like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. No rest for the weary. It was a matter of time. Frampton is on the canvas. The corner hasn't thrown in the towel yet, so I guess he's coming out for another round. Unbelievable heart, knocked down twice! Look at him, he's absolutely knackered, man. He's knackered. Here we go to the fourth round. Something has got to change after two knockdowns in the last round. I have no idea what they have left. What? How? How do you come back from something like that? 
No, I'm twice. Where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Rampton now knocked backwards. He's got to cover up. And it appears the onslaught is over. He's willing to go where the other fighter won't. They'll make it up, and this fight continues. Good left counter that lands. When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Missed him with that uppercut. Another score. Ooh, and Carl Frampton just got rocked. And there it is. Carl Frampton goes down. Round, but he's still on his feet. They believe their fighter has it in the tank. Don't get the jab. Don't get tied away. Great round, great round. Relax, relax. Don't wait till more. And there's the bell for round five. They barely survived the last round after two knockdowns. Let's see what happens here. I have no idea what they have left. What? How? How do you come back from something like that? Not at twice. Where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've gotten... Do you believe Rampton is down and he might not make it up? Congratulations. A knockout victory. That is God. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot. 